Hello. Hello. <laughs> and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you. The good, the good and wonderful people on the tube. The tube. <laughs> Hope we're all today. We're doing fine in the world. <laughs> I can't do it as fast as you. Hello there, everybody. No, not many people well. can do it as fast as me. <laughs> so, welcome to the gig vlog. This is the gig we're playing tonight, although you can't see it because it's, it's uh, glare central. Let's get in there. So, we're playing Guitar Mageddon. <laughs> Dave Simpson and his trio, which means there's four of us. Even though there's well, Mini Mayor, I suppose, suppose classes. Mini Mayor classes as the uh, the fourth member of the band. Yeah, she's the secret fourth member. Of Indeed, the band, yeah. So, so uh, yeah. If you hadn't gathered by now, we're doing a uh, simultaneous vlog intro. Just yeah. Seeing how that works. Out. But the, the, the funny thing is, like you know, uh, it says Friday the 14th of October. This is this video is not actually going up till. January next year because I'm that booked up so so yeah so um back in time we're actually this is video is actually time travel this is proof time travel exists uh my queenies will be coming out sooner than mine but yeah right, my, yeah my, mine's like <laughs> I'm, I'm dead already by now my legs have already fallen <laughs> off attack. goodbye legs but yeah so we're playing this tonight with uh loop cycle who's amazing that's mr dan um mike sellers and concerts that's him there uh can't really see it very well but yeah but do you want to see the most terrifying Hank Marvin impersonator in the world? I think you do. It's a bit white. I do apologise about the light. But how terrifying is that guy? Look at that. He'll come to you in the night and... Apache you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It should be a really, really fun evening. Um, I don't know. I just think it's going to be absolutely mental. Like just guitar mania. I'm gonna try and record some of their sets as well. If, they, if they'll let me record some of their sets, I really want to show you Dan um, because Dan's like a genius. I'm, He's amazing, I'm yeah. to totally convinced that I've Dan is a him. yeah. Loop Cycle is an absolute genius. Yeah, Queenie's first time seeing him, but we did gigs with him ages ago in the middle we did. of nowhere, didn't we? Yeah, it was amazing. So, uh, so yeah, this is tonight's gig. Can he wait, man? We're actually playing another playing the theatre. This is the Shantan McGregor place we played as well, Riverhead Theatre in Lamb. Anyway. We're going for a walk now, it's really bright. See you in a sec. Ah, uh, there we go. Now, so, so I thought I'd film a bit of the walk that we're, we're on. Pre-gig walk, it's always good for your legs. Uh, this is Lauf Canal, everybody. Um, this is where all the wool and all the stuff that made Lauf extremely, extremely rich would come up. So this would be full of barges back in the day. And this actually isn't the original river. There's, an, uh, there's actually an original river that came through Lauf called the River Ludd and it was actually uh, basically blocked up and like shoved underground. I'll show, you, I'll show you what's left of it in a bit and uh, basically this was put in its stead. So this is the Lauf Canal and it's extraordinarily overgrown now but and I do apologise if there's any wind noise. You can still see like mooring places on the other side of the uh, canal as well. But uh, these are real warehouses. A lot of them have been converted. But yeah, really cool. None of this was here when I was a nipper. None of these houses. This used to be a field, this did. Actually, I tell you what, there was a factory here, and then it was all fields, and it's just houses now. Crazy. But yeah, very overgrown in there. But yeah, this, it was basically this river that made Lauf really rich. Like, a really rich place to be. I think it was wool and stuff like that. It's very, very kind of thing. Massive warehouses over there. You can see. That's an amazing one, map. So cool. Buffalo bag. Buffalo bag. Is that a Bob Marley song? Yeah. Buff Buffalo bag. <laughs> Buffalo bag. Yeah, but there's, there's like tons of locks as well down here, but they've all gone now. There's one further down that the council just let destroy itself, and then they had to freak out and rebuild rapidly with rocks, and they've done a, the worst job possible. But yeah, there we go. It's gorgeous. I'll show you the waterfall as well a bit further up. So this is turning out to like be a bit of a out and about with a trio. <laughs> oh yeah. The new 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 series concept, out and about with a trio. Where we just don't play music, we just go out walking and talking. Trio walks. Trio walks, and then we've got trio talks and trio porks. That's just wrong. <laughs> Ignore that one. That one. <laughs> so we just. Yeah, anyway. 
Yeah, tray of pork is where we just go to like pork restaurants and eat just pork all the time. What today? What what pork is there today? So this is coming up to the waterfall. This would have originally been a lock. This would have been the first lock from the docks that are down there. There used to be that used to be a really cool open field, but it was like kind of like no one owned it, and it was just loads of like cycle tracks in there. You could go BMX in there. It was so so much fun. And there was this old manky Land Rover that you could go in. Basically, people just used to go in and get stoned. So it used to just stink of weed. <laughs> but yeah, here is the uh, waterfall. Go down here. So this would have been a lock back in the day. But now it's just a two-step waterfall. Hang on, I'll brighten it up. Yeah, sorry for the waterfall noise. <laughs> Um, this is actually a one-step waterfall. It used to, the second, that step there was never there. It was just this one. It used to be a big drop, but now they've made it two steps. It's kind of not as loud, not as mental, but uh, kind of annoying in a way. But yeah, very cool. And it goes off down there, very deep down there. But yeah, it's kind of crazy to think though. Like barges would come down this way because doesn't look wide enough but you get like two aside one going up one coming down but yeah mega more new housing very bright day glorious glorious, glorious day queenie filming look it's got a brand new phone it's all pop okay so oh that's no, right no worries do, do remember me saying about the original river that came through Louth, the original river lud river mod there it is that was the original river that came through Louth and it was basically like, it's just really like reduced to this kind of like trickle now because of the canal, because we needed the canal more. And we had a massive railway station as well. People would come from all over. Uh, people would come up from London to come to the Louth market and trade and stuff like that. So it was the place to be. And then the Beaching Act axed our railway station, even though it was making enough money. And uh, that was it basically, we were isolation. Because Lincolnshire's really weird. What? The shadow has yeah. the devil. Oh, yeah. Yoda. 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 Lincolnshire has no motorways. It's got the like the M180, which isn't really a motorway. It's just a noise machine. So you've got to drive to the nearest motorway, which is the A1, and that's an hour from here. Okay, cooking with Dave Simpson. This is what I've cooked for the band for tonight's gig. Guitar Armageddon. Uh, I have done a chicken casserole. So we have chicken fillets, onions, carrots, and we've got a... Lovely jus in there. We also have, I can't get my sleeve up, that's really, really hot, but potatoes, potatoes, and cabbage, queenie. I'm not on the menu. Well, she is. Am I? Yes. There's no meat on me. You're an appetizer. Okay, <laughs> anyway, but yeah. Probably, yeah. Smell, smell my joyous chicken casserole. Get your head in there. Oh, it does smell nice. It does smell good. So yeah, look at that. Look, look. Smell of vision, people of the tube would have been amazing right now. Anyway, dish up time. Okay, so uh, tea is finished. Uh, so we'll start with Queenie. What would you rate the tea as? The chicken casserole. Out of. Out, out of out of five stars. What would you yeah. say? I would say five, but maybe four and a half because like you got a bit of gravy on. Yeah, I mean I've got to get in on this. I mean it, it, I, I did get a bit a, shoddy. That is the, unacceptable. Yeah, and I did it on my plate as well. So uh, that's a five from Queenie. So that's a good one. You, you get paid extra tonight. It was really tonight. nice. <laughs> John, Drew, what would you say? Five, mate. Five oh, for me. There we Absolutely go. Absolutely delicious. Even the vegetables were lovely. Which coming yeah. from me, not a big fan. Yeah, me neither. What does your, your mum say? It's like, well, if it green, it's mean. Oh, yeah, my, my brother-in-law. <laughs> yeah, it. yeah, it's green, it's mean. And he goes, if it's not from the, if it's from the sea, it's not for me. <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> he's Northern Irish, so he's got his yeah. full of great stuff on that. Yeah. But yeah, no. it's delicious, mate. Thank you. That's why I'm in the band. Indeed. Don't care See, about the music. This is how I keep musicians happy in this yeah. band, is I cook for them. Delicious meals like that. But anyway. Yeah, so what have we got to do now? What time are we even on? Because um, we've got to be down to the venue half, at about four. Half three. Half past three. So we need to get loaded into the van soon. But first, we need to let tea settle. 
Yeah, there's nothing worse than kind of like just like eating loads and then all of a sudden going, right, now we've got to rush to the van and get all tidy. <laughs> Lift uh, get, a load uh, of heavy stuff. Yeah. No, I need to sit down. But yeah. Nah, you, you, you're both on camera. Perfect. Am I? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I didn't oh, think I was. I was just yeah. <laughs> I can't do it now. I'll mime it. Go on. Ready? There you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> if it were tube, what would you rate that burp? Comment below. What would you give it? Queenie, have you got one to follow? Do you know, I actually very, very rarely do. That is I very true. I hiccups. Yeah, it's really yeah. annoying. Queenie gets like horrific hiccups that like, like end day. up hurting her. Yeah. It's horrific. Like yeah. extreme. <laughs> do you know, yeah. if I'm too full, I'll start sneezing. Really? Yeah. Diane always says to me, after I eat too much, I'll sneeze about 20 times in a row. Yeah. It happens oh. fairly regular. My dad's not <laughs> similar to that. My dad's like, he just like gets on sneeze. He'll sneeze once. And you're like, that's it now. He's going to go for like yeah. 20 odd, yeah, 30 odd. I, I think the most he ever did was like 22 or something like that. I remember going on like holiday when we were young to the Lake District. Yeah. Oh, okay. And he sneezed like 22 times Jeez. in a row. It's um, like, it's mental. My dad gets the hiccups if he eats something too hot. Mm. But it's really funny because, they're, again, they're like extreme hiccups. <laughs> it must be genetic. Yeah, something, something in something in Nevada. He's falling in the water. <laughs> Back again. It's Mr. Dan. <laughs> is it going to be some weird kind of YouTube collaboration combining, smashing into cameras each other? Yeah, oh, careful, careful. I bet that is. So the stage is paddleboard central, but Mr. Dan's paddleboard beats all. Check that out. And you thought Queenie's paddleboard was big. Mega. We're going to explore the back backstage with Queenie. There's John Joe. It's really cool. It smells like paint. Yeah, it does. Like proper paint. Silence, s'il vous plaît. Don't know who that is. That's the Mona Lisa. That's where the Mona Lisa is. We found her. We found her. Oh, we're taking that, aren't we? That's <laughs> worth millions, rabbit. Nah. <laughs> we're back for you later on. I, I don't know who that is, but I quite like him. That's um, I can't remember his name. People of the tube, comment below. Pe Queenie's yeah. fans, comment yeah. below. Who is it? 
I, I, I think I know his name. He's probably not, but who knows? That's that's the creepiest picture I've ever seen. That's a mirror. Oh, oh yeah. wait, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a clock back here. It stopped. What does this mean? Cave hiket scientia avedi sapere. In the cave, there is a bear. Bear made of science, and he likes sapphires. Do you know? I knew you were going to say sapphire at that one. Really? Yes. I, I, I am something of a language con- well, concept. There's, there's Lara Croft. Oh, it actually Winston. is Lara Croft. <laughs> Mr. Winston there. The crossover you never knew you needed. Wait a minute. Inspector Clouseau. I thought that. Uh-huh. 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 Received a burp up in the head. A burp. A burp. Okay, so have you ever banned us? Um, have you ever banned, uh, well, the main band are uh, sound checking. Now we've just done our sound check. You saw a bit of it. It's quite, it's quite hectic, so filming is a bit difficult to say the least. But main act uh, is sound checking now. Dan, who is amazing. Dan's like a genius and I'm wearing his t-shirt tonight to support him because he's just insane I'm going to try and I'm going to ask him if it's okay if I can film one of his songs to put on this video because you just got to see it but um but yeah so Dan's on first we're on second then this main act's on uh, last uh, it's chaos the, the the stage is full of leads uh, I'll try and get a shot of my uh, what I've got um, the guitars I've bought are my ST62 the Chapman Pro X uh, in its new form, which you all know by now. Um, and also, I've bought my Oswald split head, which I don't think I'm going to play, but it's here anyway. I bought two orange cabs, 4x12 cabs. I'm only using one, though. I did plan to use two, but I don't need to now. It's it's too loud with two, so it's just there for prop, basically. Uh, Marshall MOSFET for backup head, orange CL120 is main head, usual pedal board. Chaos Reign Supreme. I'll try and get you a close. I'll try and get you on the stage at some point to show you it all. But uh, at this point in time, it's not really going to happen. Oh, by the way, people with you, before we go anywhere. So this building we're in, the theatre. This used to be a library. When I was really young, this was a library, but I never knew it being open. It was derelict. And you can see there was an old window there, and that's the original brickwork over there. And um, I remember coming in here with my dad. Uh, wow. Well, when I was really young, and it was all derelict, but all the books were still here. Really? It was really creepy. Wow. But uh, it was amazing. But yeah, so this used to be a library, and uh, that's the, these are the original walls. It's from the 1900s. Um, I think it's around 1910 it was made, this, some of this building. But they have added on to it for the theatre now, but it's very old. Anyway, um, I'm going to stop filming now just in case I play any copyright stuff. So, see you in a sec. I'm okay, so same, actually. yeah, me and Queens are going to try and do a theatre walkthrough. See if we're, I don't know if we're allowed. We might get told off, but we're going to walk straight in past the stage and then down like the little rabbit runs at the side of the uh, the venue. My tripods seem better days. Anyway, let's do this. <laughs> oh yeah, War of the Worlds reference. So here's the stage. Stage and this is the backstage area. So, the Queenie got delayed there. So, this is the backstage area where we were, where me and John Joe did gig here once and we weren't allowed back here. But the main actor was like, no, we don't allow them back here. So, so there's speakers back here, so you can hear the stage. They're not always on. And then you go through here. Yeah, it's very tinny, right? But and then through here, I think is yeah. You okay back there, Queens? Yeah. So another tour. Uh, oh, this is another. This is another stage around. Played in here before. This is a another little kind of part of the theatre. Didn't even know this was it. Yeah, played in here before. Wow. Yeah, it's quite cool. It's quite small though. Um, I don't know what's up those stairs. It says no public access, so we can't go that way. Yeah, but we're artists. That is the, uh, what's it called? The entrance way. Foyer, yeah. Foyer, yes. Anyway, nature calls. Yeah, so this is the main entrance way to the theatre we're playing. So I think up here, oh no, we can't go that way either. Which way do we go? <laughs> How do we get to the top? Cre- cre- creepy Hank Marvin. 
this way. That's the top. It must be up those stairs. I think it is those stairs. It's got to, it's got to be. There's no other way to go. Adventure. Adventures with Queenie and Dave, because we can't find John Joe. I don't know where he's gone. So hopefully this is this will come out of the top. There we go, yeah. Oh, there's a lift. Oh, What's there? What's that? Is that anything? Should be the back. Loud in here. Oh, he's down there. I see. Found John Joe. <laughs> And post gig treats. There's even chocolate. Oh, I've lost me. Uh, I've lost me. Um, oh, your sock. Me sock. I need to find me sock for my camera. So the camera at this point in time is probably really blustery because I've lost the wind sock. So we'll find it and get back to you in a sec. Okay, we are back in sock business. So this thing covers a mic went off. So covered. You're, you're safe again, people of the tube. Hopefully from a bit more wind noise. So, uh, like I say, we've got treats, we've got nibbles. Because we're only doing a 45 minute set, I can eat chocolate before I've finished. Because you can't eat chocolate before you sing, because you can't sing. Sing being a very loosely termed word for what I do. Anyway, walking in. I'm hoping to kind of, I can get access to the stage here and actually show you what I've bought. Because uh, I kind of want to show you what there is on stage. It's, it's mental, it's chaos. There's stuff everywhere. Let's see if we can, no, we can't. Okay, so we're actually bags at the dressing room. We are in dressing room. Four. One, number one. Hi. Number one. I'm number one. See the play. Oh, there we are. Hi. Uh, so yeah, I can't get access to the stage at this point. I'm still sound checking. So uh, I will hopefully give you a stage rundown at some point. It looks really good on that, but it is chaos. Here. Anyway, uh, what, what have you got in the gig bag? Well, I'm looking for my phone because it got put in there, but it's kind of been buried and I don't know where uh, it's gone. Queenie's lost her brand new iPhone in there somewhere. Water. Never took Very it important. Why are these in here? I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is the. I'll show you what we've got people to you for uh, after and during gig things. So that's my water quavers and what's it? That's the freak John Durant. That's Queenie's Innocence movie. For after the gig, Whisper Gold. Minstrels. Free gig is Pepper Armies. Queenie's. Oh, you went Pipers, of course. I did. Uh, smoothie for after the gig for me, and a bottle of Coke just in case my sugar levels drop horrifically, because that happens. And uh, we have more sugary stuff here as well. The camera act for you. More sweet things here. Yes. More sweet things, definitely not here. No, you are. Ugly, creepy thing. But yeah, this is this is basically our rider, but we had to go and get it ourselves and pay for it ourselves. But there's no brown M&Ms, which is always good. Anyway, see you in a bit, people. Tube. Okay, so uh, sound checks are all done. Fit is just empty, waiting for people to come. I don't know how many people are coming, but this is the stage. So from a distance, looks really cool. It's just like pedalboard mania down there is one two three four five five pedal boards two drum kits one two three there's countless amps there's tons of amps tons of guitars um yeah chaos I've got back show you from up there oh. there we go cool shot from up there
Okay, for YouTube, so you can still hear Dan playing. It's absolutely amazing. What you what you've just seen is like it's in it's like otherworldly. How he keeps track of his paddles and stuff. All that coming from one person. I think this is Queen country. Nope, it's just a door mirror thing. That's a bit freaky. Anyway, we're on in about maybe five ten minutes. It's got a bit of a bit of a change over time, and we're proper ready. Really looking forward to this one. It should be fun. So uh, I'm going to put you at the front of the stage again, like in the Shantan McGregor gig, gig vlog. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the sound will be okay. I'll I'll tweak it anyway if it's not. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to it. We're on for 45 minutes. Um, I can't keep the whole set in, unfortunately, because we've got two covers in there. We've got Voodoo Child, uh, Slight Return, and All on the Watchtower. But So I can't put them in because Janie Hendrix will have her devious way. But um, other than that, it's all going to be there. I'm really looking forward to this. And uh, then basically once we're done, we've got to get everything off the stage. Um, Pedalboard's drum kit, Queenie's Pedalboard, and then, uh, yeah, then uh, it's time for the uh, main band, Colossus, of the evening. So, um, yeah, should be fun. I keep saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Not nervous, honest. <laughs>
Okay, we have just come off stage. How do you think it went? Really, really well. Yeah. I yeah. really loved that. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, I really enjoyed it as well. Warm. Getting in the groove now, aren't we? But yeah, it, it was. It was proper like, yeah. Again, the, pro the problem with like, a support act, though, don't you think, is like, you're always time watching. Because yeah. yeah. I had my timer running in front of me. Really? I forgot to turn on the Fez, and I turned it on before Steeler, and I go, right, we're at minus three minutes off that. Mm. And we finished on 40 minutes. Yeah. Uh, so we finished 45, we're like, 43 minutes we'd have been done. Uh, which is what I told Mike, the set of us, 43 minutes. So it means yeah. we've done it. It was the same the other night as well. Cool. So, um, but yeah, it, it, it was It was one of those things where you, you feel like you've just got to kind of like, you can't really stop and relax. You just gotta yeah. blast it. Get on yeah. With it. Yeah. If if it was just us playing, like if it was like if we were the main band, I think we'd be a bit more relaxed, take mm. a bit more time. Extraordinarily quiet crowd. Yeah. <laughs> very quiet. We very very quiet. We were gonna get a photo with them at the end, and we totally forgot. So Which if is good. you if you come to one of our gigs, you can get in a photo. With yes, yeah. you could like be in a photo. Look, like, imagine this look. You're in the background going yeah. 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 Just my van at this point in time. Yeah. Cool. You're in the background going drum solo. The van fan. <laughs> drum yeah. solo. Bass solo. Can't hear the yeah. bass. Can't hear the bass. Can't hear the bass, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but all joking aside, that was really good fun. It was warm, it was. bloody hot one. Yeah. And I say yeah. a smoke machine didn't do any favours to anybody. Um, no smoke machine next time, please. It was yeah. horrible. It's horrible to breathe in smoke when you're playing. Cool night as well. So cool seeing Dan. It was. Yeah. Loop cycle. Yeah. yeah. You don't like being called Dan, you know. No, he likes to be called Loop Cycle, don't yeah. you? Yeah. See no, the well, loop I, juice I called him on. Loop Cycle in my video, and he's like, uh, I'm Dan. He hasn't, he hasn't uh, yeah. like, engulfed me yet or whatever. Like, it yeah. changes his personality. Yeah. I love the fact he was drinking uh, a juice thing. <laughs> Before I went on, it said Loop Juice. Loop Juice. <laughs> it was amazing. But yeah, you saw Dan. He's absolutely mega-tastic. Uh, yeah. I don't want to film the main band because I feel like my, I don't really want to just, I don't want to get into any trouble filming their songs and putting them up without them knowing. Yeah. So, but they're really cool. They're kind of instrumental, kind of 80s, Steve Vai kind of inspired band. Uh, they're called Colossus. So uh, if you want to look them up, I'm sure they're around on the on the YouTube somewhere. But yeah, really enjoyed that. It was a great gig. Um, I've got to go back on yet at the end of the night and play Highway to Hell, <laughs> which I don't know how to play very well. <laughs> I don't know the order of the song. I'm just going to wing it. So I'm just going to plug in and just go, yeah, I'm going to stand at the back. And I love the fact that there's going to be a load of kids playing it right and Dave Simpson. <laughs> going to be playing it wrong. Play it. If, I, if I get up there, though, and somebody says this is not in A, because I've had that before where I got on stage with bands yeah. and at Highway to Hell is in A. I got on the band, I got on stage with a band once and they said, oh, we're doing Highway to Hell. And I said, oh, cool, we're doing it in A. Just in case I dropped you and he goes, no, we're doing it in B. It's like you kind of can't do Highway to Hell in B because no. you can't do the right chord, and it sounded so terrible. So what I quickly did is put capo on, so I could do it properly. Yeah. But yeah, it was. I don't have to do solos, so I'm just going to stand at the back That's and be rowdy. I'm not doing this. Oh yeah, they're going to have a spotlight on you, mate. Mm, God. <laughs> well, I've got no pedals. I'm just plugging into the CL120 because I can't be asked to set the pedal board back up now. But, but yeah. Anyway, I don't know if that will be filmed. Maybe. Who knows? But yeah. Anyway, I really enjoyed that. It was mega. So. Um, this probably won't be the last thing of this thing. I'll probably have a bit of a nap tomorrow. There's a guy running. Who's chasing him? Zombies. Zombie. John Joe's chasing him. What? Oh, he's off. Oh, Queenie's gone as well. It must be Brad Pitt. And now I'm all alone. And everybody's left me. Left me on my own. Oh, God, they're coming back. Zombies! You can't catch me. My cardio's off the hook. <laughs> Okay, over YouTube, so it is the morning after the gig, just got up, uh, what to say, awesome gig, great fun, hope you enjoyed this vid, people tube. YouTube, uh, so there's a bit of a walkabout in there as well, I, I tried to film as much as I could, uh, I will be doing some more gig logs as well at some point, um, there's another one coming this month, I'll, tr I'll, I'll try and get as many done as I possible can, but some gigs, I can't vlog them because... There's just too much chaos, and there's not enough time to get the camera in place. I, c I could do last night because there was enough time, and I can do the next gig probably. It might be, it might be subject to change. It just it depends on time, space, and uh, basically what we've got to do. If if it was just us playing, then I'll gig vlog everything. But it's not it's not always simple, unfortunately. But yeah, really hope you enjoyed this vid, people tube. So um, if you like the videos I do at this channel, please consider becoming a patron. The Patreon link to that's down there, uh, as well as links to uh, my music and also the band's album that's down there as well. So the songs you heard in this video can be downloaded 
if you go down there and go to my band camp. So yeah. Uh, other than that, thank you very much indeed for watching, and I'll see you again very soon for another one. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening, and goodbye now. Thank you very much indeed for watching.